simulation of the Waya Alstom turbine hydraulic system, uh, specifically showing the effect of a failure of the sequence valve. The pump models are based on the data sheets from the uh, pump supplier uh, producing 71 liters per minute at 2200 RPM. This pump runs at 1750 which would give a total output of around 56. This one is set up to run two pumps um, each at 1750 RPM. We'll change this simulation to just run one pump to show the, the single contribution uh, or the contribution of one pump. The relief valve, uh, actually called the system pressure control valve at the end of the system, is set up with um, a set point of, uh, well, it should be around 40 bar. We'll open that one up and see what it looks like. Um, it shows to be 39 right now, so we can set that at 40. Uh, the rest of those orifices down there along the bottom are the orifices inside of the the system. The one on the very left represents a sequence valve which would have a diameter of more than 12 mil millimeters. The other orifices are one millimeter. Starting the simulation we see the, uh, the effect of the accumulator We've modeled a five-gallon accumulator with a 20-liter, I mean a 20-bar um, pressurization. So when we first start the pump, the pressure will not rise immediately until the accumulator is fully charged. Once we hit um, the set point of the system pressure control, the, uh, the pressure no longer rises. Uh, we stabilized it around 40. At 10 seconds into the simulation, we open a valve to admit all the oil into the um, into the trip block, and there you see the flow through the trip block go to about 57 liters per minute with a pressure of less than a half a bar. The pressure drops quite quickly. That change that occurs is due to the accumulator effect. It, it